Okay, so I created this um, PowerPoint and it's really messed up. I because it's um, I'm using my Shack computer and I don't have PowerPoint. I've got uh, the Open Office Impress, and so if I had PowerPoint, this would show because I did some really cool things with background slides and it doesn't work in uh, Impress. So I had to export it to a, PD, uh, a PDF to make it work and the, everything's all messed up. So please ignore that. Okay, so uh, let me get down here. And so here's the problem. Okay, my prior shack, I had a computer and I had amplified speakers. So I'm sure we all have, you know, some of our PCs have built-in speakers. My desk, it's a desktop or a tower unit that doesn't have a PC uh, speakers built in. So I had external uh, speakers that I had plugged in. And at my old shack, they were ripped. They weren't very good. And I didn't want to pay to move them. So I just chucked them. So, you know, it's far easier for me to go out and buy a new set of PC speakers, but I had, you know, a really cheap LM386 amplifier module, and I had some old speakers kicking around. I thought, hey, you know what? Why don't I just build my amplifier module that uh, I could slap onto a um, speaker? So I had these modules, I had bought these modules. Uh, quite a while ago, I had two of them. One of them actually burnt out. The chip actually burnt out and I removed the chip and I have to replace it. But I had a second one and they're very cheap. This this was a recent um, uh, eBay listing. It says 99 cents, but it's not 99 cents. It's $5 shipping. So it's actually six bucks for the module. A module it's got recording is on. It's got uh, four pins. One is for ground. One is for it can run either twelve or five volts, right, or anything in between. And then you've got your input. You got two pins here for for your input. There are two ground pins. One pin is input, audio in, and the other is your voltage, your uh, source, V VCC. Then you've got your output for your speaker. And you can see here the module, here's the module where the chip is missing here. And uh, it's also got a volume control here. So I decided to use this module and create my own little amplified speaker. So here's kind of the build. So instead of using a Altoid tin, I used a Sucret tin because I had kicking around and I didn't have a good use for it. So, so basically what I did was I, I got the module, um, I put it inside, you could see a paper, cardboard backing in the back so it doesn't short out. I put a little paper back um, at the bottom of the can. Here's my power supply coming in and uh, it gets routed to the header. And I've also got this cable here is the um, uh, output from my um, uh, PC. And so I use RCA plugs and I did a really good job getting the colors right. Uh, and so I had a RCA jack to a phono jack cable. So I plugged the phono jack, the uh, audio jack in the back of my PC and the RCA jacks here and that comes in and I have two I think I use 47 microfarad uh, electrolytic capacitors to combine the two channels into one and uh, that way I'm not shorting it out it's not a DC short it's an AC short so I use a nice uh, large electrolytic capacitor so I could get the low frequencies to pass to make it through. And uh, so I have a mono signal coming in and I'm feeding it into my header. So basically what I did was once I have it set up, I connected my PC uh, and I turned my PC volume all the way up as high as it, it can go. 
I went into YouTube, played some god awful video that was really loud, and I adjusted my volume to the point where I just started to get distortion. Then I backed it back a little bit. So I get the maximum amount of volume without distortion hitting the uh, uh, PC, hitting the speaker. And so the final product looks like that. There's my speaker, there's the amplifier on top. Uh, there's the cable going to speaker. Uh, you can see the cable here go into the speaker. Oh, and the boss just came into the room. You could hear him meowing here. And uh, the PC connection. And so that's it. As a matter of fact, this presentation is being played on this speaker right now. So that's basically it. That's everything I wanted to show.